Welcome back to Music Theory Logic. Andrew here, aka Drew Sounds, aka D period, R period, U period. Andrew, depending upon where you know me from. Um, I discovered a really cool sound design technique that is very, very simple. And if you're a serum user, you're not going to want to miss this. And if you're not a serum user, you may even want to get serum for this. I'm going to show you how you can basically take any audio recording and turn it into that uplifter sound we all know from dance music. So here we are in a track that I'm working on. I'm going to play it. I'm just playing the beginning of this. As a side note, I don't. Um, this is originally where I built the built the sound, but um, I'm using it at a different place in the track, which I will show you to show you a little bit later. So here it is. I will uh, jump ahead in the song to show you where I eventually placed that, but this is super simple. So I was on Splice. I had basically like this instrumental going. I don't know if I had all these layers. It sounds something like this. It's like I really want like an atmosphere. And so I went on Splice and I looked up an atmosphere and I found one from my favorite, current favorite dance music, electronic music producer, I guess, Space Laces is really close to um, Virtual Riot to me um, in terms of how much I appreciate, respect, and love their design. But Virtual Riot first discovered on the YouTube stream thing. In many ways, he was an original inspiration for me to want to start doing the kind of videos that I do. But um, basically, this is his uh, atmosphere. He called it a tranquil atmosphere in A. And so you can find that on Splice. Now, I heard this. It sounds like this on its own. And I have that going through an LFO tool. So without that movement, it sounds like this. Cool. So I was basically thinking, well, how do I take that and make it go up in pitch? Because that would be kind of a cool buildup type sound. Uh, this, I'm planning on uh, doing some more instrumental releases under my dance music alias. And uh, this uh, is one of those tracks. And so up here, Building the sound is super simple. This is similar to uh, the how to turn Serum into a sampler video that I did. But you want to go to uh, show preset folder. So um, that's going to be show Serum presets folder. You go to noises, you go to user, and then you're going to drag whatever audio you want to pitch up or down into this folder. I said it last time, but you have to make sure that that audio is a WAV file, a dot .wav. If it's an A for it's an MP3, it's not going to read that. So if you have an MP3 or an A file that you absolutely want to use, bring it into Logic, bounce it as a WAV file that might um, mess with the fidelity slightly, um, add artifacts, but you will then be able to pitch it in Serum. So I dragged this sound in. There it is, Virtual Riot Atmosphere. The next thing you want to do is either restart your DAW or hit rescan sample. Uh, Rescan folders on disk. That's going to have Serum look and see if there's anything that you've added since it loaded the program. Then you're going to turn off everything except the noise oscillator. You're going to load in that sound as the noise oscillator. You're going to turn off key tracking um, so that it's basically starting at original pitch. You're going to uh, turn it off a one shot so we can have it go as long as we want. You're going to put in a line of MIDI. So I have the note D written in there. And uh, then finally, inside the serum patch, you're going to use an LFO. I have this LFO one. It's tied to the pitch of that noise oscillator, the amount you can uh, really play with. If it doesn't start at 12 to 12 o'clock right at the top, it's going to be out of key or, or pitched differently than the original sample. So for my purposes, I wanted it to start at the original pitch stay there for a while which is why it's flat for as long as it is and as it starts going up the pitch is going up so we can actually watch that happen don't really hear pitch i'm going to start really noticing it and because it gets steeper 
deeper the rate that it's speeding up uh, increases. So hopefully that helps you. Really simple technique. You can apply this a bunch of different ways, but effects manipulating is probably the simplest way to think about this. You could take like a lead sound that you have, uh, bounce it in place. You could load that into the noise oscillator, do the similar technique to give it the sound like it's uh, pitching up towards some sort of drop. Again, a sound that we all know from uh, the dance music uh, takeover, but that's been many years now. And uh, Fast forward to the year 2022, regardless of what style of music we're talking about, many more and more production techniques and sounds are, are more acceptable. So if you're doing, uh, if you're producing your own band's rock album, I would experiment with using some of these 21st century sounds to try to create something new. Once again, my name is Andrew. Thank you for hanging out. You'd help me out a lot by subscribing to the channel and go uh, put this technique to work. I call it the uh, virtual uplifter and shout out to Virtual Riot. It meant the world to me when you uh, wrote back and thought this was a good idea. So the uh, king himself uh, likes this technique. I hope it helps you and I'll see you next time. Cheers.